when I was in university, I went to a golf course actually, just a little part-time job, trying to make a little bit of cash to support myself in university. And ended up being a dishwasher there. And I would pump through the dishes really, really fast. I said, okay, I'm done, what next? And the sous chef there is kind of say, hey, come over here and help me chop carrots. And I said, okay, now what next? Well, now you can help me peel onions. Okay, now what next? Well, okay, maybe you can help me on garde manger, put together some salads. Okay, what next? He said, Nathan, do you love what you're doing? And I said, I love what I'm doing here. I love food. This, I've never seen anything like this. I was captivated by the possibilities of what you could make, of the taste of things, the smell of things, the aroma, and, and the way it all came together. I'd never seen it before. And he said, go cook. And it was that simple. I remember I was second week in, in my, my uh, second year of university for political science. And I hopped on a plane and flew out to Holland College, Prince Edward Island. And that was it. I fell head over heels into cooking. I felt like I always looked at everything from more of a scientific angle when I was cooking. And I say, why is this happening? Why, why is this food reacting in this way? And, and it didn't react in this way before. What have we done differently? And, and a lot of other chefs would say, we have things to do, let's go. When you cook, you live now because there's orders pouring in and you're thinking about what do I have on now? What do I have that's going to be ready in five minutes? What do I have to have ready in 10 minutes? And what do I need out in one minute? And I kind of wanted to look at things from more of a macroscopic and affect things from more of a macroscopic perspective. And so science seemed the logical way to do that. I wanted a way of combining my eight years of experience in the culinary world with my high school, early high school affinity towards science. I actually heard about Niagara College through the Culinary Innovation and Research Centre, which is a centre that takes students, pairs them with faculty, and then allows them to access industry challenges and industry partners to find solutions. And through that, you take a lot of the equipment that you might touch on or learn on in school and amalgamate real life challenges with in-school theory. One interesting project that I worked on was a cricket pesto. So a cricket pesto is a pesto that the, one of the main ingredients is crickets. But on top of just making a pesto, we had to make a pesto for industry that would be delicious, that would be within regulation, shelf stable, and do it all for, with a reasonable efficiency and ingredients that would be able to be sourced en masse and produced in a facility in, in industry standards. We have the baby boomers who are pushing for a very nutritious diet. We have a lot of the Gen X and Gen Ys who are pushing towards um, uh, eco-sustainability. So crickets kind of check off all the boxes that we're looking at. We also have to cover all the classic culinary check boxes, acidity, umami, uh, a little bit of bitterness, and the sweetness, and just balance that all into a nice, nice, nice product. I think that the value that we bring at the Research and Innovation Centre at Niagara College is a very, very direct value. So an industry partner comes with us with something they need solved now. And the solutions that we come up with are immediately applied. And it's something that helps small to medium businesses in the Niagara area, in the Ontario area, thrive.